I'd like to show you today how you can use your iPad to do digital storytelling. We're going to be using a free app that is very simple and basic called StoryKit. When you open up StoryKit, you're going to see a page with a little bookshelf that looks something like this, and you'll touch the icon that says New Book. It's going to open up a blank page that will look something like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is add a picture to the blank page. To do that, you'll look down at the bottom left-hand corner, and you'll see a little icon that looks like it has little pictures with a plus sign. And you'll touch that, and what it will do is open up a page that connects to your photo albums that have already been saved on your iPad on your iPad. And if you're not familiar with how to save images or to get images into your photo album, that's something that we'll talk about at another tutorial. When you go to the photo album, it will open up a page that will look like this, and you'll see little images of all your pictures. What you'll need to do is find the image that you want to add to your story and I'm going to use the picture of the elephant feet and so you simply need to touch that picture and when you do you'll get a close-up of the picture and you'll need to hit the blue choose button down at the bottom right hand side and that will add your image onto your page. You can use your fingers to pinch it to make it a little bit smaller or to stretch it if you want it a little bit bigger. And you can also use your finger to drag it to a different part of the page. The second thing you'll want to do is add your text. And to do that, you'll go again down to the bottom and you will need to find the button that has the A with a plus sign and touch that. It will open up a blank page at the top with a little keyboard at the bottom that you can use to type your text. And if you need to switch back and forth between the numbers and the letters, you simply use the ABC button at the bottom of the keyboard. And you don't have to add text on this. If you wish, you can totally skip that step. When you're done, you'll press or touch the edit arrow, which is like your back arrow, and that will take you back to your page, your main page that you're creating. Your text will appear in a little box, and again you can stretch that box to make it larger or pinch it to make it smaller and to move it around to your page to adjust it. The next step is going to be to add your audio, and to do that you'll touch the third button at the bottom that looks like a little speaker. It will bring you to a little recording booth, and you simply need to press the record button to record your audio, and when you're done that record button will be a stop button that you can touch. You can press your play button to preview what you've recorded. And once you're done with that, again, use the edit arrow at the very top, which is your back arrow, to take you back to your main page. If you want to add another page, you simply would go to the top right-hand corner and hit the little arrow that says add with a plus sign, and that will add a new page. Here you can see a second page that I've created to go along with my story. There also is a fourth button at the bottom, which is a paintbrush, and that allows you to do some simple painting, uh, just stri strictly using lines and colors, and you can change the thickness of the lines. It's not a very complicated drawing app, but it will be fun for younger kids if they would like to draw a picture to go along with their story. When you're done, you would press again your Edit Pages back arrow, at the top of the page, and that's going to take you to your list of pages that you've created. If you need to go back and edit any of these or change them, again, you just touch on the blue arrow and it will take you back to that page. If you're satisfied with your pages, 
all you need to do is touch the details arrow at the very top and that will take you back to your main page for your story which is going to look like this. You will touch on the top line to add your title, your second line to type in who it's by, and then the third line to add some details to it. When it is all done, you would simply press the read button and it will play your story for you. And it looks beautiful on the iPad to watch it being played. You can also um, press the edit button if you need to go back and do anything to fix up any of the pages. And then the last step does allow you to share your story. However, when you're sharing, it's going to simply upload the pictures to a web page and it really does not have the sound with it so it's probably not the best app for sharing with other people. You're going to end up having to send a story link by email and your story really is just going to look like this. You're going to lose the sound so that's probably not the best app if you want to be able to transfer it to another setting, but it is a great app for being able to create a digital storybook that can be read on the iPad. So those are the steps to use StoryKit. It's a good free app and I hope you'll find this little tutorial helpful.